everybody, Nicole from Hair of the Dog Academy. I am back for another Biz Tip Thursday, and today I am recapping uh, something that happened to me on a recent trip to Park City, Utah. So I'm part of a mastermind, and we get together in person three times a year, and this particular trip uh, was going to be in Park City. Uh, now we are staying at this beautiful hotel, and it's kind of like up on the ridge, because Park City has, you know, some mountains all around. It's absolutely gorgeous if you've never been. Uh, but the hotel that we were staying at was kind of up on a ridge. And to get to the actual front door of the hotel, you have to drive like 25 minutes all around the base of the mountain to come up the back side of the mountain. Or there's a way to kind of cut through a neighborhood, but it's a gated community and they don't want Uber drivers and like just general public driving through there. So the, the shuttle for the hotel can go through there, but not actual private cars. So they actually made a drop-off point right down in the main village that's kind of, you can, so that way you can walk right over to the ski lifts uh, and you can get to the, the different restaurants and cars can drop you off really easily down in that main little bowl part of the village. And um, so yeah, so our Uber, we're driving up there, drops us off there, we go in and there looks like what is a front desk sometimes, but nobody's there. And we go up this incline type thing up to the top of the mountain. Uh, beautiful ride. We're like, oh, okay, whatever. This is great. It's beautiful. We get up there and where that drops you off in the hotel, it's kind of like there's some restaurants and a beautiful patio, but there is no sign towards the front desk. And so we start kind of walking we're like, okay, to the right is just a restaurant in this patio. So it must be to the left. So we go to the left. Um, but then it's just kind of like it kind of ends. You have to take some steps. The elevator was kind of hidden. We have all of our bags. It was a little bit challenging. So needless to say, we kind of went on this wild goose chase, finally found the elevators, kind of went down. We're on the wrong floor, went to another floor, ended up running into somebody else from our group. We're like, where's the front desk? And they told us where to go. So we finally found it. Uh, so my question for you on this Biz Tip Thursday is where in your business are you having your clients drag their bags all the way up and down a mountain without them knowing what is next, where they should go, what to expect next, when you're going to contact them again? Um, because it's really, really challenging customer service. Hey guys, this is a really nice hotel we were at. It was, it's a high-end, beautiful property that usually prides itself on customer service. And, you know, I don't know if it wasn't, it was busy actually. I think the hotel was sold out when we were there um, because there was another event going on too and we couldn't stay longer. We had to move our mastermind dates because of this other event. So the hotel was sold out and you know, you're thinking, you're like, All right, well, you have this little check-in spot down at that other area. Um, it would probably behoove them to have a staff member down there to greet people, even if they can't do a luggage run, like, okay, uh, uh, definitely way to exceed expectations would be you get dropped off at the bottom of the mountain and you can check in there, or at least they just take your bags and they tell you where to go and you go to the main desk to check in and then your bags go to your room. Disney would probably do that. This wasn't Disney. Um, but anyway, um, you know, just where in your business can you do that? Where can you add that extra welcoming person to take your bags? Uh, where can you make sure your clients know what's next? My personal rule, anytime I'm working with clients is anytime I am finishing up a conversation or seeing them in person, anytime I have any contact with them, I always, always, always end the conversation letting them know what to expect next. When they can hear from me, when they'll be getting their images, like whatever it is, whatever the next step is, I let them know, give them a timeline, let them know if I'll be contacting them, which is usually, I don't want anything on their plate, so it's always usually coming from me. Um, or if I do need something from them, I'll say, hey, the next step is for you to send me your wall art, can you, you know, please do that, we need to have that by X date. Um, and then, yeah, just letting them know and I always also let them know if you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to reach out to me via email or phone, whatever's most convenient for you. So that way they know that, hey, I can get in touch. And of course you're like, Nicole, of course they know they can get in touch with me. They do, but do they? <laughs> you know, how many clients are maybe if you don't tell them what's next, like you leave the session, you're like, all right, great. I'll see you for your sales appointment. Um, they're just like, 
going home and wondering, wait, what's next? Am I, was I supposed to do anything? You know, how often are you kind of checking in and letting them know? For instance, I have some canvases. You won't be able to see it. We'll go real quick. Some canvases right over here that just came in for a client. I'm waiting for some frames still for those canvases. But I snapped a picture of them yesterday, still even in there uh, in the wrapping um, because whatever, she can still be surprised. She doesn't have to see the final product yet. But I just uh, sent a text and said, hey, guess what arrived? Still waiting for your frame. So I wanna let you know that these arrived and they look beautiful. And she's like, yay, so excited. So I let them know, okay, I'll let you know as soon as your frames arrive and we will set up delivery. So again, uh, you know, they give you all this money and it's been a while. It's taken, the frames are taking a little bit longer than usual. Um, so it's been, it's been a couple weeks already. So I didn't want them just sitting and wondering, oh, where is my order? I spent a lot of money. Why haven't I gotten that yet? Not gotten that yet. So that communication is so important. So that's my biz tip for the day is where can you improve your communication with your clients and um, make sure you're letting them know where to go, what's expected, how to take the next step every step of the way. All right, we'll see you guys soon.